are you at? Oh, there you are. Yeah, jump. There you go. That's a good girl. Okay. So take one of these. Okay. Oh, shit. Uh, run out here. Slow down. There's no need to be in a hurry here. We got all day. Well, I do. You don't. Oh, welcome back, everybody, to Ravenhurst. I am an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to have to still look for a hammer because it occurred to me after I left you in the last episode that even though we found a work working workbench, we still have to make one to satisfy the damn quest. <laughs> so shit. Um, yeah, so that's kind of sucks. Um, be, you know. That kind of sucks. Now the thing is, we can't make um we can't make a hammer either, can we? Uh, here, I'll press yeah, press tab for inventory. We're in a different game now. Uh, claw hammer schematic. Oh, does this mean we could actually make one? What's a uh here here. Click on a book. Click on a book. Okay. Research desk. Oh, can we make a research desk? Yeah, I got to remember to click on the book. Uh, I'll I'll get there, you guys, slowly. I'll get there. Uh, so a research desk is locked. Um, And it needs, well, it says it needs a crafting workbench, but it's also locked anyways. Uh, so apparently, yeah, we don't know how to do that. Doggone it. Okay. Well, you know, we are just, like I've said million times before you know we're slowly slowly making progress here so i've got 27 worms and i guess i need to go fishing so uh yeah it's 4 30 in the morning i just started the recording as soon as day daylight started so i guess i'm gonna cut the camera here and go uh whoops go catch some fish so we have food for the day oh crapola there's a bear right there um yikes and then once i'm in uh, I'm done with that. Got the fish uh, cooked up and so forth. I'll bring you guys back. And then I guess we'll continue our search for a hammer because um, we, we need to. I mean, we can't advance the quest until we actually make a workbench, even though we have access to, you know, to one now. Um, but uh, let's see, where where was that? Oh, okay. that was the house with the, the bunker underneath that we found that. That one right over there. Let's just go back to the workbench really quick. I want to just see what recipes are currently available to us. It's kind of nice, too, that it's just right across the way from our house here. Uh, by the way, this is not our permanent house in this series. Uh, it's not my intention to live there forever. Uh, we just, you know, we just need to get to a point where we're actually able to build a house uh, or, you know, find a POI that we can fix up. And we're not at that point yet. Uh, because we're still just trying to work on some basic things here. Okay, so anyway, we, uh, barrier park. Okay, we got bricks, bed rolls, burning barrels, candles, car. Oh, we could make these now. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, oh, yeah, you know what? Uh, one of you guys told me in the comments, too, uh, it was Deus, actually. Thank you, Deus, that I can actually go make storage boxes, uh, or crates. <clears throat> excuse me um you know the chest things in the working uh saw table saw um that's nearby um so uh, but even this though i mean if i can just if i can even just make these um where did where did it go here cardboard box storage which i can i just need the duct tape and the paper that's gonna be awesome okay so we're gonna have to definitely get that going so because i'm you know getting a little tired I'll be honest with you, I'm getting a little tired of using trash bags and backpacks and shit to store all my stuff. It's just such a pain in the butt. Uh, okay, so what else can we do? We can do hatches, doors, personal craft station, reinforced drop. It's funny we can make this now. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But we can't make s some of the more essential stuff right, right away. Tanning rack, vault door, wall safe, wood burning stove. Oh, that's cool. <clears throat> I think we had this in... Uh, in uh, what was the what what was the last overhaul that I played? Whereas UK, yeah, we had this in Whereas UK. My my brain, man, I'll tell you what. 
Oh, we can we can actually make the wooden storage in here too, but it requires planks. So oh, I'll bet you we have to make the planks on the wood uh, on the table saw, and then maybe come here to make the actual wooden storage. That's really good though, that we can actually do that spider web trap. Ooh, that could be interesting. That is really good that we can do this now. Um, so that's something I'm gonna gonna definitely work on. Maybe not in this episode, but yeah, all this stuff is is still gated right now. So, okay, good, very good. So you know things are looking up. They're not ideal, but they're looking up. So that's good to know. All right, you guys. Well, I'm gonna cut the camera here. I'm gonna go down and catch a bunch of fish so we have food for the day. Um, our food's a bit low, uh, but I do have actually. I do have one more thing of fish. We're just going to eat that right now. And um, I still have two red teas on us and the ability to make more. So, yeah, you know what? Actually, I might gather up some some chrysanthemum, too, um, and get some fish. Get all that situated. I'll bring you guys back, and then we will uh, resume our search for a hammer. Okay, so see you in a bit. All right, guys. Uh, I am back, and let's see. Uh, it, we have uh, 30 fish. We got nine prawns and a bunch of other stuff, you know, a little bit of leather, a little bit of money, that sort of thing that we got uh, from fishing because you get, you know, some extra junks too, like you would like say in Minecraft and so forth. Uh, okay, so I wanted to bring you back now. Um, I've harvested up 20 goldenrod and 34 chrysanthemum and the house is just right there. Uh, but a couple things I want to also address from chat. Uh, first of all, some of you guys were telling me that you can eat snowberries in the early game. Uh, and I have heard that before, but the reason I don't think to do that is because they used to, and maybe they don't anymore, but they used to make you sick if you ate, you know, more than just a handful of them. And so what I want to do on camera, uh, as we continue to get a little more goldenrod and chrysanthemum here, um, I want to test that and see if that in, in fact does make us, uh, you know, sick if we eat too many because if it doesn't then yeah that definitely is another viable food source in the early game i just need to find another one because they're kind of they're kind of rare in the in the forest uh, area here's another thing too um just so everybody knows there was some discussion in the comments uh um, some people are of the opinion that the the knife was not um very efficient um but then i i disagreed with that and listed the reasons why um, and a couple other people agreed with me too. So, I mean, everybody has their own opinion and certainly respect that. But one thing to, to keep in mind, this is really important in Ravenhurst because durability is huge in this, you know, in this, in the early game at, well, at all times probably, but in the early game, especially because, you know, you can't repair anything below a hundred period. Okay. You use it. It's gone. Anything above a hundred Every time you repair it, you lose 100 durability. So if you started off with a 400 durability bone knife and you repair it, now it's a 300. And the next time you repair it, it's a 200 and so forth. So what that means is durability is huge and something you want to really take into account. Um, so what was said was um, that I would be better off using a club um, on the zombies. But here's the thing, you guys. We are playing on Insane, and you can't forget that. It makes a huge difference between normal settings and... Um, and insane settings. These zombies are way tougher than they are on normal settings, so it takes that much longer to kill them with a club, and in the meantime, the club durability is going down every time I hit them. The zombie has a chance to get pissed and start running at me every time I hit them. Um, so, you know, if you factor that in, um, really the club is not uh, at all, in my opinion, the best weapon to use in the early game. Okay, so I just wanted to throw that out there. Um, the other thing to keep in mind, too, is I can kill this zombie with only two hits of the knife. And and so basically, I, I did a little more testing with this, and as long as it's a normal zombie, you know, and one with the normal hit points like this guy is, you only need to hit him twice. So you hit him once, and you let him bleed five times. That's one, two, three, four, five. And then all he needs is one more hit, and he's dead. He just doesn't know it yet. Um, so I only hit him twice with my knife, saving the durability. Um, I am not exhausting my stamina hitting him over and over and over again with the club. And each time I would hit him with a club, um, he has the chance to enrage just like each time the, the, the bleed procs on him. So there's really no difference between that at all. All right, so I just want to point that out to you. 
Uh, the other argument that I made too in that comment is that, um, you know, let's say I have like four zombies on me. As long as I manage my stamina, um, I can actually kill all four of those zombies in way less time than it would take me to kill all four of them with a club. Um, because all I have to do is, is tag each one of those zombies only twice uh, and then just stay out of their way and they're dead, you know. So uh, anyway, the knife is, in my opinion, a very, very good early game weapon. Uh, and, you know, all this applies to, to Vanilla uh, Seven Days too. This isn't a Ravenhurst specific thing. This is just Seven Days in general. Okay. Um, nevertheless, I do appreciate uh, the commenters' original comments, and I do appreciate, um, you know, everyone's opinions and respect them, whether I agree with them or not. And so please keep those comments coming uh, by all means. Okay. Second thing. Um, Kasapa, uh, one of my uh, viewers... Uh, mentioned that I can actually turn this low texture off by running a command. Uh, so if I go to F1, I'm just going to paste in, but it's GFX space ST space budget space zero, um, and then enable that. Uh, what that does is it turns off the low res. Now we have high resolution bark and everything looks really nice. Um, so I appreciate knowing that because, yeah, we want we want the game to look good. So now we have good looking bark. Uh, there's a little bit more stuttering going on now, but not enough to, you know, to, to, to uh, you know, detract from, you know, the enjoyment of playing the game, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So anyway, uh, yeah, just wanted to kind of cover those things. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the booby trap, wherever the hell it's at uh, over here. <laughs> and uh, we're going to cook up the fish, cook up the teas so we have food and water for the day. And, you know, I got to thinking... I think I do want to try and make a couple of storage bins on camera just so you guys can see the process for those of you who might be new to Ravenhurst like I am. Um, but we're not going to spend the whole entire episode doing that, but you know, by no means. But uh, let, let's just go make at least one. And I'm going to make, I'm also going to make a cardboard box too. And then I'm going to compare, um, you know, the storage space in the cardboard box with the, the wooden storage bin and see if they're the same. Because if they're the same, then, you know, except for the fact that the wooden storage box is going to be stronger, the cardboard box is going to be way easier to make um, in the long run, right? Uh, so let's do this. Let's get um, let's get the fish cooking up first. So uh, we're going to need some fuel for that. Do I have any fuel in here? Yeah, let's just pull the coal out of here for now. Oh, you know what? There, there is one other thing I wanted to do in this episode. I wanted to make all of our molds, too. Um, so let's put that on the to-do list. Okay, so we'll cook up the 30 fish there. And then, let's see, what do we need again for the tea? We need a boiled water and the dried leaves. So we do the dried leaves in here. Uh, so we, what we want to do is go to the food, and we'll dry all the chrysanthemum and all the goldenrod leaves and get that going. That's going to take about six minutes, it looks like, in total. Uh, let's see, do I have any beverage here that's ready to drink oh yeah we've got 10 goldenrod teas so let's just let's just grab those for for today um and i'm gonna i'm gonna drink this one now i would prefer red tea because red tea you know i'd like to save the goldenrod first of all for dysentery but the red tea is also gives you a a, a digestion boost uh meaning that you you know you consume less Hide uh, less food and water when you're exerting yourself. Uh, so that's always nice. Um, but here, let me put this in there. Do I have any extra prawns in here? We don't. Oh, we do. Okay, so we need... We need a... I think... I can't remember. Do, do we need five or four? Let's grab that. Can we make grilled prawns? Uh, oh, it only requires four. Very nice. Okay, so we can make three grilled prawns. Let's grab this food here and get uh, our food back up to maxed out. Um, so it'll take, I don't know, probably four to five of these guys. Let's do four to start with and we'll see where that leads us. I don't want to, I don't want to do the math because I hate doing math. <laughs> um, we'll grab those and then we'll let the rest of this stuff cooking up and that'll give us a nice little supply of food. Oh shoot, we were going to, we were going to try the, I'm sorry, we're going to try the uh, snowberries. I didn't think about that. Let's look at this for a minute. Snowberries can be easily mistaken for blueberries, but are only borderline edible. So that doesn't tell us anything about them being dangerous. So let's eat it. Well, that's one, two. Okay, so two of them didn't make us sick, but what, from what I remember, 
you know, the last time I tried this, which was actually several alphas ago, it's been a long time, was you had to eat like, you know, five, six, seven of them before they started becoming a, a problem making you sick. So maybe that's still the case. I don't know. Uh, but we'd have to get these in quantity to actually fully test that. Um, but again, it's just kind of been ingrained in my brain that snowberries make you sick uh, for for years now, <laughs> quite literally. And so I just never think of those as a food source. Um, but if that is different, I will try to retrain my brain, uh, you know, to, to start using them in the early game moving forward. Okay. So let's, uh, where, what are we doing? What are we doing? Where's our boat? Boat's right there. Um, let's keep, we'll keep the beverage on the toolbar so we can get a quick stamina boost if we need it. Um, okay. We'll grab some more of our food and looks like we're going to need to probably eat at least two more of these. We already have a full stack. Cool. That's a nice problem to have. Um, and then we're going to put the rest... Uh, here, I'll just put it in the drop-off chest for now, and I'll worry about that later. Uh, we still have to come across some gas tanks, too, so that's why I'm still carrying these for one of those quests that we have to do. All right, great. So now what we're going to do is we got our food and our water um, taken care of. Well, you know what? We still need to eat a couple more of these. This only gives us... How much does this give us? It only gives us 10 food. Okay. There. That'll get us topped off. And we still have more for later, too. So, yeah. We're doing good on food. We might even be good for the next couple of days before I have to go fish it again. Okay. Um. So, I guess the next thing we're going to do is... Let's let's actually look at our molds while we're here. And then we'll go look at doing the, the chests. So... Uh, we're going to have to make the, which one is it? Pipe mold, empty blank mold. We have to make these first, um, and then you take the empty blank mold and you use those to make the other molds, but you have to have the item to do it as well. Okay, so we have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven molds that we can make in total. Um, and we, and you just use the empty mold itself for, you know, for ingots. Okay. Uh, so let's grab seven of these. There we go. And we need clay, which we should have a bunch of somewhere because I dug a crap ton of it up. There we go. Okay. So now let's just make seven of these. Okay. We'll let that cook up. How long is that going to take? About two and a half minutes. Okay, so while we're waiting for that, let's turn this off. And uh, let's let's go ahead and get started on the chrysanthemum tea. Uh, how many of those did I get? 16. So we need 16 of these. And we'll go over here and get 16 of those going. Okay. And then... In 40 seconds, the rest of the goldenrod will be done. How many more is that making? Eight. So we need eight more jars of water. I think I have, yeah, I have extra ones in here. Um, can we do the right-click thing on this? Yeah, we can. Okay, I'm getting my games confused. Uh, okay, so let's see. 15 seconds on that. Now, how are you guys doing? You got a minute and a half left on those. Okay. So let's get the, the goldenrod tea made up. Get that going so it's ready to go. All this extra food I'm just going to stick in here for now. And then uh, I'll sort it out later. Do the prawns give us the same amount of stuff? Oh, wow. These give us more food. Like four more points of food. Well, they should because they're rarer. Uh, okay, cool. All right, so that gives us eight of those. Let's get eight goldenrod teas going, and then, um, yeah, we'll let those cook up. Okay, so food and water's good. We are covered. In fact, let's even drink one more of these right now so we get it all the way topped off because we can, and it is a beautiful feeling. Now, molds. Let's take a look at molds. Uh, so what kind of molds can we currently make? Um, we can make bullet casing. I don't think I have any bullet tips. 
at this point. I'll have to look. A jar, iron arrowhead, nails, pipes, and screws, but not steel. Okay, so let's see. We want a jar. We want a bullet casing, which is going to be here. We have exactly one uh, iron arrowhead. We needed one of those. Um, a screw. So we need a screw. So we have a screw here and nails, which I have right here. So that allows us to make five of the molds that we need to make. So let's grab that. Okay, uh, bullet casing mold, empty jar mold, iron arrowhead mold, nail mold, and screw mold. <laughs> Look at us in our molds. This is a moldy, moldy situation, and it's beautiful. <laughs> okay, um, awesome. Okay, so the only two molds we still can't do at present are the bullet tip mold. I'm surprised I haven't looted one of those yet. I really am. Um, and, of course, the steel arrowhead molt. But we've got the other five, which is fan friggin -tastic. Okay, so what we're going to do with these is I'm just going to, for now, I'm going to store them right next to the forge in this bag here. Uh, but now we have those, you know, to make, make stuff uh, as we need to. Okay, cool. All right, we got the molds taken care of. Now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go see what we need to do to make the, uh, the wooden store. Oh, we were going to also make the cardboard. So let's... Let's do that while we're here. I just have to figure out where all my um, duct tape is. Probably in here. Duct tape? There. Ooh, maybe I don't have any duct tape. We should be able to make some, though, as long as that recipe's not any different. Let me just double check that I don't have it anywhere else. You know what? The, I can't remember what else it said we needed. Did, was it paper that it said we needed? And where in the hell is the paper? See, this storage is just such a pain in the ass because everything is just all over the place, you know? I mean, it's sort of kind of organized and sort of kind of not, you know? Um, oh, I guess I, I have the paper with me. Duh. <laughs> okay. Um, we need the cloth for the duct tape. Okay, let's make some of that duct tape. So... Uh, do I want to make a total of seven? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. And I don't, I don't know if if it was paper that it needed. We're just gonna have to go back and look. Just can't remember. Too old for that shit. But we'll bring all this duct tape with us because again, I don't remember how much it required of that either. Okay, let's go back over to the uh, the workbench, which is just right over here. And we'll see uh, what those requirements are. I'm, I'm starting to think it was actually empty or, or cardboard scraps that we needed, which would make more sense. But let's just look at it and see what the deal is. Okay, so for cardboard storage... Oh, we do need paper. All right, cool. Um, And only two duct tapes. Let's just make one of these because here again, I want to compare it to the wooden storage and see if they're the same. If they're the same, then it makes more sense, at least in the early game when resources are limited, I think, to make these because they're they're just cheaper. Um, okay, so let's just let that cook up. Now, for the, the wooden storage, here, let's just do it this way. Storage. Uh... Didn't we see wooden, yeah, wooden storage box right here. No, here. All right, wait a minute. What's the difference between this and this? Is Does this, it says furniture. Does that mean it's not actual storage? It's just for looks? Uh, That's kind of what I'm interpreting here is that that's the case. So this is the one that we would need. Okay, so we need nails, wood, and brass hinges, all of which we actually have. Okay, cool. Nails, wood, brass hinges. So let's go back to the booby trap and get that stuff. And then it looks like we don't... Um, well, do we still need to use that the table saw, though? I don't know. Let's just see. I think we do.
Okay, so we got the the cardboard box. Storage. Man, there's a lot of different types of storage. Generic storage. We just want storage box. I don't I don't care about the labels for now. Uh writable's actually probably what we'll ultimately want to do. Um yeah, so it has a little table saw icon and it doesn't give us the crafting option there. Okay, let's go over to the table saw. Uh, so I've got that marked on the map. Uh, it's right over that way. Oh, here's another comment uh, that was left. Here, let's grab this while we're here. Uh, you guys were saying, you know, that the modular home is a really good place to have a base because uh, 10,000 hit points, or 20,000. But, um, wow, that is a lot. But look, that's only 300. So that could be broken out. Um, and also, this area here is wood and as you can see the zombos actually broke through here so i'm not saying it's not a bad place because i think the majority of it is the twenty thousand. Uh, but you would definitely have to you you know you would have to find out the the weak spots which maybe that's the only weak spot that there is aside from the bottom but the bottom doesn't get hit a lot you know crawlers uh, might hit it uh, but you can tell that right, and I don't know why that's even, why is this wood and the whole rest of the damn house is <laughs> 20,000? I don't know. So you'd have to really shore this area up, but the rest of it, yeah, would probably work okay. Um, that's just really weird, man. And it's already got a, you know, a steel door. So I agree that this is not a bad place for an early, you know, an early base aside from that, which makes, I don't know, it's just so weird that that's wood and nothing else is, but... Maybe there's a reason for it, or maybe it was just an oversight on the individual who originally designed that POI. I don't know. I don't know, man. Let's go make ourselves a storage box, and then we're going to compare the two. But I'm, like, stoked, man, because I am so tired of using those stupid trash bags. Okay, so storage. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Why is it not showing up here? Oh, because I'm probably on the wrong filter. Uh, here we go. Okay, so storage box. Look at that. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, we even have enough to make a few more of these, but I want to I want to compare the <clears throat> excuse me. Uh this, you know, that with the cardboard before we go go ham on this. Okay, let's go back to our base. We'll set these two down and we'll see what the comparison is. Okay, so let's go ahead and put our storage boxes um, I guess we'll put them right over here for now. Okay, so storage box and cardboard box. All right, so this has one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. This has 30 slots. Oh, this one's got more. Okay, well, that that basically <laughs> that basically uh, solves that uh, qu or answers that question is what I'm trying to say. So storage box has more slots, and that's what matters. So uh, this is cheaper to make. And, uh, you know, definitely a good solution for the very early game. Uh, but as soon as you can make the wooden storage boxes, that is definitely the way to go. Now, um, did we make a mold for hinges? Did we? I don't think we did, but I think we can, right? Can we? Did I miss that? Let's take a look. Mold. Bullet, tip, jar, arrowhead, pipe. Oh, we didn't make a pipe. No, there is no a mold for hinges. So can you just make those straight up in here? How do you make hinges? I don't know. Maybe you have to craft them in, in the uh, workbench. You can't make hinges. Hmm. Okay. Well... Um, yeah, it doesn't show up here. Maybe you can make it in the workbench. I don't know. But uh, apparently we can't make that for the, uh, uh, with a mold, which kind of doesn't make sense. You'd think you'd be able to, but apparently not. Okay, so let's grab another one of these and let's make our pipe mold. Because I don't think I did that, did I? Well, we're going to make two. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I forgot to make a pipe mold. Yeah, there's no pipe mold in there. You know what? We don't need to hang on to this stuff at all. 
if and when the time comes we want to plant trees, we can easily get it. Uh, okay, cool. So, yeah, I'm going to go... Let's go back to the... Uh, the table saw and just... Whoa, shit. Careful. Uh, and we'll just make... Um, I think we can make at least two, maybe even three more wood storage bins. And then we need to go start looking for some, some more hammer action somewhere, somehow, some way, somehow. Um, we could try and do this POI, I guess. It's not going to be a walk in the park. But there's a lot of stuff in there uh, down below. Um, I'm just trying to think where else might potentially yield a hammer for us in this town. Oh, and we, we should check the trader. No, the trader doesn't reset till day 15. So, yeah, he's not an option right now for us. I do remember that. We went into the basement of this place um, that had several working stiffs boxes, but unfortunately we didn't find a hammer. Okay, so we're going to burn the rest. We can make any of these storage boxes. That's neat. But here again, I'm not worried about labeling right now. I just want practical applications. So, yeah, we can make two more of those. Um, so let's do that. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, we will um, we'll resume our search for a hammer. So I guess, I guess maybe we'll go into the house with the workbench and uh, see, you know, see what we can find. Um, I, it's been a long time since I've been in that house, so I don't remember exactly what all's in there, but I just know there's a lot of stuff in there. There might be something in the attic of this place, maybe. We didn't loot that kitchen, did we? I think, I think we came up here, but then we got attacked and didn't go any further. We didn't actually get a, a bleed on him. Yeah, we did that time. We, yeah, let's just check upstairs. There might be a working stiffs box up there. I just don't remember. I don't remember know how many bleeds we got on him. But he's actually a little tougher than a normal Z anyway, so it's probably going to... It might take three hits to take him down. We'll see. Yep, he, ooh, he drops us a bag, too. Come on, have a hammer. Hammer, 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 hammer. Ooh, nice. Targets when three meters have a high dismember chance. Yep, I'll take it. That's for shotguns. And nice drop. No hammer, though. Okay, let's go back up here. Here, let's grab these so I don't forget. Skater Punk's there, but I'm not too worried about him right at the moment. So there's somebody else up here. Up or down? Where are we at? What's going on here? Okay, we're just looking quickly for a potential tool. Uh, you know, working stiff's tool thingamadoodle. Uh, nope, don't want that. Let's look and see what's in here. Uh, w yeah, we'll take that stuff, I guess. And what about in here? Nope, no working stiffs. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. I'm going to run back to the house, drop off this extra stuff, and then we're going to go look for a hammer. All right, guys, uh, we're back. Um, I just realized it's uh, <clears throat> getting kind of on on in the day. It's like uh, after 6 p.m. Uh, so we probably won't be able to get through this entire POI um, by the end of this episode, but let's at least get started with it, and then we can, you know, we can finish it up later on if we need to. Excuse me. So, um, yeah, let's uh, let's get started here. And this is um, quite a large POI. It's much bigger than it appears because, uh, as I've already mentioned, uh, there is a big uh, downstairs um, area to it, like a huge bunker uh, downstairs. We're not going to take that for now. Let's see what's in here. Um, medicine cabinet. Come on, give me some first aid bandages, please. <laughs> Stupid game. 
<laughs> uh, so much for that, huh? Let's keep checking the trashes because, you know, we can get important things like twine and duct tape and all the stuff that you can potentially get from trash in this game. Looks like I've already mostly looted in here. We, I guess we did come back. Oh, already know that. Hash browns, that sounds good, actually. I'm kind of hungry. Uh, charcoal, I don't think we need charcoal. Uh, if we scrap this, we should get, yeah, the blueprint thingamadoodles for those. So let's get that done. See what's in the trash can here. Um, yeah, so I guess we've checked all that. I don't think we need, at some point, we might, um, you know, we might grab another coffee maker, but I mean, they're not that hard to get. So we're just going to go with the one for now. Okay, so we got um, an ammo pile. What am I wearing? Let's get our luckies on and uh, see what we get out of here. You know what we really need is bullet tips so we can make the the mold. Because now that we have the the um, you know access to a workbench, we can actually start making ammo. But of course, we need a gun though too before we can do anything with that, right? So, all right, let's pop in here. There's probably some nasties in uh, one of these guys. Let's get our bow out. As usual, by the end of this episode, I will have retrained my fingers to use the tab key uh, for inventory, and then I'll go back and I'll, what the hell am I doing? <laughs> and then I'll go back and play Conan Exiles and be completely confused again for a few hours. It's just the way it works. It's just the way it works. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What we're gonna do for her is we're going to do a sneaky sneak shot and then run away. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit she's running fast she's angry <laughs> Damn, give me my arrow back lady oh wow oh okay i was gonna say did we just kill her but we just knocked her down so that one bleed along with the the sneak attack might be enough to kill her uh sure enough look at that look at us and our bad selves all right let's go back on in and continue on we might as well just, you know, cover the whole house here. Here, give me that back. Okay, let's do another shot here. Nobody's in there. Okay, good. So we'll go around this way. This has actually been a long time since I've been in this house. The last time I remember doing this house was in Experimental Alpha 19, probably about a year ago or so. It's been that long. It has been that long. Uh, let's see, cannabis and vinegar. I, I don't know if cannabis is something ultimately that we're going to actually want. I mean, what is its actual practical use? You know what I mean? Uh, in this mod, maybe it's, is very useful. I don't know. Okay. We've got a, we could take that apart, but I really need to save my wrench because I can't repair it. You know, once it's broken, it's broken. Let's head up here. It's a little dark with the lighting effect okay we got silent oh shit cheerleader silent jump on my head oh shit cheerleader that's what she is okay let's get back out here where we have some room to maneuver come on my dear come see me where are you uh oh she's still upstairs she never actually came downstairs is she where you at? Oh, well, there you are. Yeah, jump. There you go. That's a good girl. Okay. So take one of these. Okay. She's not like right on my ass like Marlene was. Good Lord, Marlene was running fast. Oh, shit. Uh, run out here. Slow down. There's no need to be in a hurry here. We got all day. Well, I do. You don't. I don't think... Oh, yeah. We just barely got enough bleeds on her to take her out. Okay, cool. Go back up this way. You know the drill by now. Okay, so we got this far until cheerleader popped out. Uh, we got a medium ammo pile down here. Let's see what we get. Nice. An insulated liner mod. Okay, we'll take that. If we ever decide to go into the snow. Skill and mining tools has increased. Let's take a peek in here.
Okay, no Zombos in the immediate vicinity. Let's check the nightstand. Some clothes. So, um, press, no, I'm not going to pick that up. Not something we need right now. <clears throat> Maybe once we get our actual base built, we'll, uh, we'll decorate it a little bit with stuff like that. Um, and, and just by the way, one of you guys mentioned to me a f several episodes ago, something about building a base near the lake so we could fish at night. And I've never, I've never forgotten that comment and we might actually do that. We might build a house from scratch as opposed to, you know, fixing up a POI uh, down by a body of water with a nice little deck that we can then, you know, just fish at night. And uh, that could be very useful. All right, are these guys going to come up here? Let's just wait and see what they do because we can barricade that door and take them out if they if they do decide to come up here. All right, let's go this way. All right, nobody in here. Check the nightstand. We're uh, two, two things over encumbered at the moment. Are they at the door? Where are you guys at? They're not even up here at all. Okay, well, they can be stupid and stay down there. We'll just keep that closed. Okay, now we're going out on the roof, which could potentially mean buzzards. So let's be careful. Okay. So, wait a minute though, weren't we... We're supposed to, wait, we're supposed to go that way? Are we? I guess we are. No, 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 no. I'm 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 backtracking. <laughs> I was gonna say, wait a minute. Well, actually, I don't think we ever came through this way, but this is the way we were supposed to come. Alright. So did you guys get up here now? Are you finally up here? Edgar is. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, I don't think that's too... If there was one, I would take him on that way, but I don't think we can. Yeah, that's right. We we actually went through down below. We broke through. We didn't follow the, the path, so that's why I was a little confused. So we, we were kind of going in reverse there for a bit. Okay. If they're going to... Trying to think... Here, let's get up here, and let's just go this way. Okay. So we're supposed to go... I think we're supposed to go down. Yeah, okay, we're supposed to go this way. But it's a little bit hot in here right at the moment. Oh, shit, get off the plant. So we need to... I'm not, I'm not comfortable going down there right... Bleep, try it again. I'm not comfortable going down there right at the moment. So, we have 77 blunder rounds. We could just shoot the bastards. I'd kind of rather lead, lead them outside, though, and kill them out here just so we have room to maneuver. All right, here, let's do... Put this down here. Just want to, I just don't want anything to sneak up behind me, you know? Right in the noggin. Soften you guys up. There we go. We knocked Darlene on her ass. So yeah, you guys just break on through. Oh shit. Uh, break on through the other side and we will complete your demise out here. Well, wait a minute. Why aren't you breaking on through? 
You're stuck? Oh, man. Sucks to be you. Oh, maybe it sucks to be me now. <laughs> oh, no, don't get stuck on the plant. Holy shit. Okay, run this way. Stupid plant. Okay, here, let's reload this. Okay, Edgar, where are you? Just, there you go. Okay. Take that. We got more Zeekers up here? Where'd you guys come from? Oh, Edgar's pissed. Run. <laughs> oh, run. <laughs> okay, we're good. We got this. We got this. Where's the door? Where the hell's the door at? Oh, it's over here. <laughs> I'm surprised we didn't get tagged, man. Oh, that damn plant. Can we pick this plant up? Yeah, let's get get that plant out of the way, man. It was causing us all kinds of trouble. Okay, Edgar, where are you? Okay, we got a Darlene. Take one of those. The Darlene with the arrow in her head's already softened up quite a bit, so I bet we kill her with just one more knifey hit. But she's uh, staying right behind her doppelganger there. Okay, you get another one. Okay, give me my arrow. Thank you. And then let's just bump you one more time. Okay. Now, I don't remember which darling was which. Okay, no, she's bleeding, so we just got her. There, she's dead. Okay. Um, now, Edgar, give me my arrows. Don't be trying to give me a bear hug. I don't want to hug you, man. You stink. You need to take a shower. Whew. Okay. We got this. So what now we need to go downstairs. Okay. Be very quiet. Let's close that door for a minute. There's probably a Zeke right behind this counter. Oh, yep, sure enough. Farmer Brown. Piss him off. Run away! Oh shit, there's a zombie right there. You are a creepy looking La Policia. How come you're all like shiny looking like you've been taking a bath in vegetable oil or something? Maybe that's his thing, I don't know. I mean, who am I to judge, right? Just don't get it on me. Let's go and give you another one of these. Oh, shit. Try it again. There we go. So he's had he's had a, a knife and he's had a blunder bless blast. So he's probably going to die. Or not. Did he die? Yeah, he's dead. Okay. Whew. All right. Well... It's uh, it's 25 minutes until nighttime, you guys, and I think we're going to have to wrap up this episode here. So what we'll do is let's just plan on coming back here in the morning. Um, tomorrow's day 14, too, by the way. So, yeah, horde. Got a horde coming. I have to figure out what we're going to do about that. <laughs> I haven't even thought about it. Uh, yeah, so I'll have to figure that out. But um, we might come back here tomorrow and keep working in here, or I might see what we can maybe possibly do about the horde. Um I'd like to fight him if we can. We don't have enough ammunition to fight him, but we could we could fight them with the bow, though. I mean, we could do arrows and and knife hits and stuff. Uh, but I would have to come up with a a barricade situation to where I can melee them without them getting to me. So, you know, like quarter blocks kind of thing. So let me think about that, and we'll come up with some kind of a, a, of a solution for uh, Horde Knight 14. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did you know what to do hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already if you have thank you very much appreciate it uh, if you're interested in a membership hit the join button down below and you can see uh, the three different tiers of membership that we offer here on the channel if it looks good to you i'd be glad to have you as a member and uh, guys have a great rest of your day we'll see you next time Bye bye